There we go. We are live. What's up, folks? So, let's see. Let's do something different. I tested this one out a little bit earlier in this one. Let's see what this soccer chest is all about. This looks kind of interesting. Soccer chess. Pass the ball and score a goal in this chess based soccer match. Okay. Yes, let's do the tutorial. What's up, guys? This is, um, I'm not really sure. It's like a new game. It's not out right now. They're in development, but it's chess based sort of like mini games, I believe. We're about to find out. You're in control of the home team. Pick up soccer against the away team. Okay. Rooks, bishops, queens and knights. Okay, so no pawns. The goalkeeper is the king. Score goal first. Okay. And how do I do that? Take turns. You get three actions. Each action advances one minute. Towards the end of the match. Which ends at 45 minutes. Okay, so three minutes, three action. All right. So I can do three things. The interface at the upper left helps you keep track of the current turn. Okay. These dots indicate remaining actions. Okay, cool. Got it. The green overlay indicates the current team turn. Okay. Sure. The number in the center is the current time of the match. All right, makes sense. Yes, what are the actions? Depending on whether a piece has a ball, possession or not, it can perform different types of actions, okay? Makes sense. Without ball possession, the only possible movement, or the only possible action is movement, all right? Select your home team member, and then click on the indicated tile. Remember, as an action was performed, it consumed one action. Right. Now you have two remaining. All right, makes sense. When a piece consumes an action, it becomes unselectable. Sure. With ball possession, two possible actions, move and kick and standing kick. Okay, move and kick first. Select the indicated on dinner, okay. So this is kind of like dribbling, I guess. You just kind of keep the ball with you and you move forward, okay. After you do that, you have to end it by kicking the ball. It means that no other action can be made nor any other piece can be selected, okay. Kicking the ball respects the chest movement pattern from the piece that has the ball position. Okay. You can kick it either to an empty tile or to another team member. All right, so you can like pass it. Okay. Sure. Standing kick is the other action that can be performed. Select an Okay. When the green highlight appears, it indicates standing kick action can be made. Kicking the ball without moving your piece. Oh, I see. So the other way you move the piece and kick it, this way you just kick it. 
and you don't move. Okay. Got it. Last step, storing your goal. After performing any action, one of your pieces with the ball position has a clear line of sight to the goal. It will automatically score. Oh, wow. So it's like rooks and queens are going to be probably the best because they have the straight long range. It's the last minute. The bishop's the only possible piece to move. And you score the goal and be victorious. Uh, yes. So, it looks like I can go over here. And then kick it in. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. What's up, Jamie? Big fan since the beginning. Thank you. You did it. What a goal. Okay, cool. So, time runs out. 45 minutes, it's game over. If the enemy scores a goal, it's game over. Okay. Let's play. Let's play. Spasky. Okay, here we go. Maybe my head is in the way. Let's move that. Sorry, not that one. Maybe this is better. You can see the board. All right. From Spain, Jaime, sorry. Uh, all right, so what is this? Is this a rook? Can I just go get the ball and then what, kick it to this guy? Kick it to the... Okay. That was pretty easy. So, I want to get the ball. I already have it, so can I... Let's see. Let's move this guy here. Oh, no. I wanted to... I wanted to pass the ball. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Might have just messed up. Let's move this guy maybe over here. I have no idea what I'm doing. We, we have to go get the ball, first of all. So let's let's do that. And, I don't know. I guess this guy can just kind of chill here in the center. Why can't I... There we go. Now he has it. Now you pass it to him. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Okay. Okay, why, why is the light post blocking my, my view? Okay, I guess it's a bishop. Bishop, what is this? Another bishop and a rook. Okay. Move the bishop over... Hmm... Go here, and we'll pass the ball to this guy. Okay, and then let's just line this up. Is this lined up with the goal? Yeah, right here. Okay. Oh, he's blocking me. Blocking this dude. Hmm. Wait, wait, I want to pass it back to this guy. Yes. There we go. 
Now... Now what? I don't know. Can I just move right here with it? Yeah. Oh, I have to kick it. I forgot about that. Let's kick it over here. Why not? You guys should do a collab with Gotham Chess? Yeah, I would be open to that. Just haven't really done many collabs. Haven't even reached out to anyone. I need to do that. Grandmaster Eric. Mm, nope. Blindfold Simul at your club on Saturday. Cool. Nice. Alright. I'm getting a little bit tired of soccer chess. It seems like it could be fun, but it's... I don't like this pole in my face. So let's go see what else we have. Let's see what else we have here. Let's go to the main menu. Let's select a game. Let's just try this one. I don't even know if I'm going to read the tutorial. I might just play it. Knight's Move Puzzle Game. Okay. Did I do the tutorial? Let's skip it. We can come back later. We can't figure it out. All right. Maybe I should have read the tutorial. What am I trying to do? Oh, it looks like try to get all the squares to grow. Oh, that's cool. That was pretty easy. Okay. So, I'm guessing you can't... You probably can't jump on the same square twice. So, let's think about this. Way, yeah, okay, that's fine. I used to do puzzles like this. It's kind of good practice for the, uh, the knights. Okay, here, 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 here. I gotta select it first. Okay, let's see this one. That's quite a bit of visualizing. Maybe maybe I'll just start and then we'll uh, see if I can solve it from here. My brain was having a hard time. Let's see about this. Yeah, that, sh that should work if I'm not crazy. Okay, we can go here, 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 here. What's up? What? Is this one difficult? No, that's easy. Hey, okay, I'm missing something. Okay, here, here. Pretty easy.
Yeah, this is much easier than the, the dragon one. Dragon one's hard. We'll play that one next. This is not too bad. Let's see. I can get over there. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I need to go back to the start. Make that again. Forgot about that. Does that change anything? Yes. Okay, I should go this way. I think. Yeah. What's happening? What's happening with the trees? Well, it's a work in progress, so... This level is like blindfold chess. Except, I don't know what the board looks like. <laughs> I can sort of see some of it, but I think I'm probably... Missing some parts. Yeah, see, I can't even see what I'm doing. All right, let's let's go level select. Maybe we can skip this one. Oh, I can't skip it. Oh. Oh, there you go. I can see what it is. Hmm. Problem is, it's hard to click on it. All right, let's go back. Let's go back to the main menu. Let's go find the dragon one. Play the dragon game. This one's pretty difficult. Yeah, sure. How about seven? I think they did a pretty good job with this so far for alpha version. It's not bad. I could see this being kind of fun. Can one not change the camera angle? Yeah, I don't think so. This is called Chessarama. It's a. It's not released yet on Steam, but they gave me a like an early key for it. All right, so the way this one works is you have to promote the pawn to kill the dragon. But every time you move the pawn, the dragon comes and, like, lights up everything with fire. And if it's not defended, then it then it gets uh, destroyed. So, like, for example, if I move this here, it's going to be defending the bishop. But then this bishop and this knight are going to get lost. So I'll just show you what happens. These two are going to go away. Which is a bad move. See, so those were defending each other. So they're fine. The other ones are gone. So I need to restart because I need more pieces. But I just wanted to show that. So. It seems like the idea is kind of like try to move the pawn forward. And defend your pieces at the same time so where do we want the knight to go you can and you can move the pieces as much as you want as long as you don't make a pawn move but you can't go on see like i can't go on these dark ones you have to stay on the the white ones so i can put the knight here it would be defended by the bishop but then the bishop's not going to be defended is there a way to defend everybody? That's what I would like to do, ideally. Can I defend everybody? Let's see. Doesn't look like it. So, which one do I want to lose then? If I put that there, 
Let's see. We could put the knight here and move it two spaces. That's going to save this bishop and save this knight. But then... That's gone. Let's let's just try it. Let's just see what happens. So, so we'll save the knight, we'll save this bishop. That guy's gone. Okay, so... And we have to defend the pawn, which means... Hmm... Can we defend the pawn with the knight? And then move the knight to this square next time? Let's see, can the knight do that? Knight can't get there, can it? Can I get the knight to this square anyway? No. Because after here, I, I can't jump anywhere else. So I can defend it, but then the bishop is going to die. Do I ever play Entitled Tuesday? I haven't. I have not yet played Entitled Tuesday. Okay, I need some ideas. Who has an idea? What can I do here? If I push it, it's fine for this turn, but then the bishop's gone, and I have no way to support it going up further. Right? If I put the knight here, it defends the bishop, but nothing defends my pawn. Can you move more than one piece for each pawn move? Yeah, you can. You think I can save all three at the beginning? Okay, yeah, let's go back to the beginning, because it seems like it's, it's just lost here. Maybe it's from the beginning. So how do you think we save all of these? The pawn's here. It's going to defend the bishop. Or I can move the pawn two spaces and it's going to defend this bishop. But how do we save all of them? That's my question. Oh, is it putting the knight over here? Is this what you're saying? Put the knight over here, put the bishop back here, and then push it to? So that's defending that, that's defending that. Oh yeah, that's a good idea, that's a good idea. That might be it. Yeah. I see what you're saying now. So cool, so they all survived. So now it should be easier. We just have to make sure that this bishop survives. How do we make sure the bishop survives? Probably just move these like this. Push it. We don't really care if that guy dies because next turn we have this bishop. Yeah, okay. Cool. And now we go here, it's defended, and then we promote. Awesome. Okay. Got him. Okay, so this is the rook. If you're wondering, three bishops and a knight. So first of all, I guess, let's try to save all the pieces. Bishop is just sitting there. Can I see, I don't think bishops go across. Maybe they do. I don't, 
If they do, then that's already defended, but I don't actually know if they do. That might be just gone. Well, actually, let's see. Does the rook move across? Let's. Oh, it does. Okay. So we can save that guy with the rook. And then, let's see. This guy is not saved. This one is. Hmm. Can this, let me see if this can jump across. I'm not actually sure how this works. Can this jump across? Yes, it can. Okay. I don't know if that makes sense. We could put the rook over here. And then do something else with what? How do we save? Hmm. I mean, do I need to save everybody? Maybe I don't need to. Which one do I want to save then? Save the knight? Uh, what's going to defend it when it goes right there? I'm going to need the knight, I think. I don't actually know if I need this bishop. Maybe I just need to save the knight. Putting all of the bishops on the left. Okay, so let's try this, and then if this doesn't work, we'll put all the bishops over there. The thing about putting all the bishops, though, is that they won't survive, I don't think. Because every turn, the, the fire is going to come. So you have to, like... Let's see. If I go there, my rook's defended by the pawn. Both of those are defended. And I can defend this bishop. Let's see what let's see what happens. Let's try this. Do you think playing in Title Tuesday will help you prepare for your tournaments? Uh probably not too much because it's Isn't Title Tuesday like three three minute games or something? It's pretty fast, I think, right? It's mostly just a blitz tournament, so. Tournaments is different, much longer time control. All right, we we lost the one, but we have all these guys. All right, so if we move forward, both of those survive. Then the knight survives. Oh, but then the bishop doesn't survive. That's a problem. That's a problem. Let's see. Bishop survives. Rook doesn't. We go there. It's, it's one move too late, I think. It's one move too late. Wait a second. Actually, does this defend the rook? I don't know. Let's try that. I don't know if this defends the rook across the thing or not. If it does, then we should be fine. Oh, cool does all right so then this bishop was defending this rook so now we're just we're good march it all the way everything's defended cool just run it home that's right i was confused i didn't realize that the uh bishop went across like that You can't step on those, but you can... Everything works going across. Can I move it forward? There we go. Got it. Wouldn't playing Entitled Tuesday help you feel more comfortable playing strong players in real tournaments? Uh, yeah. I, I mean... I'm I'm comfortable playing strong players though. I, I'm not like afraid to play strong players. I'm just mentally not in the same shape that I that I used to be. So it's not really about being scared or uncomfortable for me. I guess you could say that for the very first tournament back, I was a little bit nervous, but now that that's out of the way, I'm I'm pretty comfortable. I just need to get better at chess now. How do we how do we set this up? Two bishops and two rooks. 
How do we set this up? We can put... Oh, he can't go there. Can I go there? So that rook is stuck over there. Okay, but this bishop can defend it. Where do we put this guy? Here. So the rooks are defended and this is defended. Oh, I have an idea. Let's let's swap these guys. Swap those and defend this one. And the pawn can defend this one. Yeah? So everything's defended? I think. Okay. That was good. And if we move forward, we will lose this guy. Do I care about that guy? Let's see, then we'll move forward. We're going to need this bishop, right, to defend that last pawn. I mean, that last square. So I think we, we're we fine losing him. We just don't want to lose this guy. So yeah, let, let's, let's do that. And then... If we go forward, we lose the rook, but that's fine because the bishop goes over there. Cool, let's do it. Camera angle is just all over the place. Okay, now we can put the bishop here, defend the pawn. I, be I think that's the diagonal. No? That's not a diagonal? What? Isn't, isn't that... Why, why didn't that not work? Somebody explain it to me. Is it because there's no square there? Oh, there's no square. So it actually doesn't defend that way? Oh, but I could have put it right here. I could have put it right here. I could have moved the rook, and I could have put it right there. So, I just have to remember what I did. What did I do? I think... I'm, I moved this. I, I think I swapped these guys. Didn't I do something like this? And then move him? Yeah. I think we, I think we had it. It's a diagonal, but the wizard doesn't leap. Right, okay. So, it, it has to have... All of the squares completed, I see. Yeah, okay. Alright, and then we just moved it, right? Let's see. We moved it because I wanted to save that one, yep. I can actually skip that if I can speed it up. Okay. And then now we do it again. And then we move this guy, move the bishop, and now it's defended. Okay. What's going on? What is going on here? Well, if we move it to... The bishop can survive right there. I don't really know... That's already defended. 
We could defend that with the knight. What about this guy, though? He's just gone. Oh, we can defend him, too, with the rook. There we go. So everybody's... Oh, no, the knight's not defended. Uh... The knight is not defended. But it could be. There you go. There you go. Little knight action. Go. Nice. Okay. We only have two more spaces, so this looks... Hmm. I am going to need that bishop, though, aren't I? The bishop is kind of the key. Wait a minute. How do I def how do I save the bishop? How do I save the bishop? Does this go over there? No. Cuz that's too many squares. Do I need the bishop? If I can get a knight here, I wouldn't. Okay. Oh, I can get a knight there. I can get a knight there. I don't need the bishop. I'll move the rook. And I'll put my knight there. Yeah. You need the knight on the rim to protect the bishop? Oh, I could have just defended it with, with this guy. You're right. But I think this works too. I think I can just do this. There, sorry, what did, what did I say I was going to do? Did I just mess this, up, mess this up? Somehow I thought I could get a knight there. Yeah, I was supposed to... supposed to defend it, wasn't I? Alright. I, I messed that up big time. Alright, so we put the bishop here. We put the knight here. We put the bishop here. We put this knight here. We move it forward. And then we move the knight over there to defend the bishop. Okay. Okay. So... Now, this guy needs to move to make space for this knight to come over here. Everybody looks defended. Cool. Oh, everybody but that because it doesn't jump over. That's fine. Fine. Got it. Okay. Alright guys, I am going to take a quick break, and then I'm going to come back and play some real chess. Uh, this was fun though. I, I, I enjoyed this. It's called Chessarama. It's not out yet. I think it's on Steam. It's not sponsored. They just asked me if I would look at it, and I... I actually thought it was interesting, and I've had fun playing it, so uh, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to end this stream, and then I'll be back in maybe maybe 10 minutes and uh, play some chess. So, thank you guys. I don't want to do too much of this stuff, because I know some people are, like, just here for the chess. So, but I, I do like to, you know, change it up a little bit, so... Alright, I'll be back shortly. <laughs>